Hello everybody, I am artist John David Baker and I would like to welcome you all to the Laramie Artist Project Touchstone Online Exhibition for 2020. In this short video, I want to demonstrate an approach to plain air painting that works well for me. And that involves first creating a value map of your painting. Before I begin the application of a full range of colors, I find it very helpful to look at what I am painting and what I am painting on in a very analytical way. I want first to consider the distribution of weight and mass that I want to incorporate in my painting and how to locate those areas of light and dark within the confines of my given panel or canvas surface. This step is a way of seeing in macro the two-dimensional structure within the painting before I begin to lay in the colors and detail. First, I want to create a series of studies using paper and a broad felt tip marker or dark pencil using the approximate proportions of the canvas or panel that I'm going to be painting on. These no-tan drawings help me to fix the shapes of large areas of dark and light in my mind and how I'd like, I would like to locate and divide the space of my canvas in order to achieve the dynamic presentation that I would like. Dark areas represent mass or weight. The light areas can be used as areas of contrast, rest, or to create rhythms. Now I'm ready to begin transposing the scene onto the canvas. I will begin by completely covering the surface of my 9 by 12 oil prime panel with my chosen underpainting color, in this case a brilliant blue-violet. This color is one that I chose that both contrasts with and harmonizes nicely with the natural colors I see in the scene before me. I could also use browns or red earth tones for warmth, for instance. I can choose whatever color I wish to work with that best suits what I want to see in the end. The color is mixed with a bit of Gamblin solventless gel medium that will begin to set up almost immediately, but can be worked with odorless mineral spirits or OMS and a clean rag or brush. When the surface is completely covered with the paint, I will wipe off the excess paint with paper towels so that the tonal influence of the color is there, but it becomes a nice middle value. While referring to my drawings and looking at the scene I am painting with an educated squint and blurring my vision, I can see where light and dark areas intersect and form the edges and contours of my masked areas. I then begin to wipe in the lightest areas using the rag and OMS. This is my initial effort to locate the bones of my painting and the dynamic interactions of light and dark. The white of the canvas is the lightest of lights that I can use in the painting, so I will keep that in mind when forming the areas of light and the gradations of value that I will make within the composition. After I have located the lightest areas of light and dark to my satisfaction, I can use a combination of tools to refine my value map. I can incise other light areas and features using the handle of my brush, my gloved finger or fingernail, a palette knife or paint shaper tool, or my rag, my brush, and OMS. I can also use Q-tips or a brush handle covered with a rag to incise or lighten any areas or shapes within my larger dark mass areas for interest, contrast, or rhythm. Tree trunks, brushes, certain grasses, rocks, and more detailed light objects can be located in this way. I then use my choice of brushes and the original underpainting color or a darker variation of that color to begin reinforcing the darkest, heaviest masses in the painting. This is a time to begin to use some of the dynamic brush handling, strokes and marks that will begin to characterize the final version of this painting. Each person's marks are unique and serve as a record of the energy applied. This is the language of painting. Here we see the completed value map of the painting. It is a fairly complete record and monochromatic map of the subject matter. I also use this method as a means to control the value spectrum of a painting, making a painting's value range, for example, values that are light and narrow, or very highly contrasting lights and darks, such as in strongly lit scenes. 
The painting is now ready for the application of my full chosen color palette. I will try to adhere to this map as I go along, as it represents for me the most dynamic stage in the formation of a painting, full of potential and possibility. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you'll check out all of the other features and interviews from our Touchstone artists this year. Please sit back, wander through the galleries, and enjoy the work of all of our artists, and we sincerely hope to see you at our upcoming live shows in the future. Thank you, and good day.